Hi, second graders. It's Mrs. Martinez. I'm going to do a foundations lesson with you real quick. Um, so if you go to your hat packet, your home academic practice packet, and you go almost to the end of it, you'll see a page that looks like this. And it says, dear family, the first several units in foundations level two. That's great too. So that's where you need to be. So we're going to go over closed syllables, which I know my friends have all done, either with myself or Miss Nighty or Miss Thomas. But we're going to go over them again. Just make sure you remember them. Um, but before you start, I want to go over all of our sounds because these vowels, which are in pink or red, um, those are our short vowel sounds and those are really important for a closed syllable. So we're going to go over those real quick and then we'll go over a couple more things like digraphs, blends, uh, which I know you all know. Um, and then we'll get into a little bit more of actually marking up and things like that, just in case you forgot. So, as usual, I say, you say, or echo me. A, apple, a. Ah. B, bat, b. C, cat, k. D, dog, d. E, ed, e. Eh. Now, before we go on, I want you to put your fingers right here, and I want you to say, eh. I know we practice this at my groups, we notice when we say that E sound, that short E sound, our fingers really push back into that. Ah. I remember that when you're trying to say that now. I know some of our friends get really confused with the E's and the I's, so remember that. F fun. F. G game. G. H hat. F. I itch. I. It. Now for I, put your fingers there again and say I. You notice that your fingers don't move, your cheeks don't move at all. J jug j. K kike, L man O, M man M, N nut N, O octopus Ah, P pan P, Q U queen Q. Remember Q and U always go together because they're buddy letters. R rat R, S snake S, T tot, U up uh, V van Z, W wind W, X fox X, Y yellow Y, Z zebra Z. And down here we have our digraphs. Let's go over those real quick. W H whistle W. Remember it makes the same sound here. C H chin Ch. S H ship Sh. T H thumb. Now, again, remember, one of the tricks remembering which sound if we're using TH or F, look at where your tongue is touching. Is it touching your teeth or are your teeth touching your lip? So I said, my lip and my, or my tongue and my teeth are touching. For F, it'll be my teeth are touching my, my lip there. CK sock. Okay. So we've gone over all of our regular sounds and our digraphs. When we mark up a digraph, okay, I'm going to use one that Miss Roman was uh, did in her first grade kindergarten level. She did the word wish. I had SH, which we just went over as one of our diagraphs to mark those. You just underline those two sounds making, or those two letters making the one sound. Okay. For a blend is when we're going to have two or three consonants that come together. You can hear each individual sound, but they stick together. So we might have a strip of paper. To do this, a blend, because we can hear all sounds, they each have their own little line, but we have them all right next to each other. Okay, it's not gonna be one line because they're making three separate sounds, or they'll make two sounds. Um, let's take the S off here, okay? And we'll have trip. Then I only have these two consonants together, but again, we hear the t or it, okay? Um, if we have a, uh, a digraph blend, okay, so we have this digraph, but we're gonna have another consonant in there. So we might have the word lunch. Now when we mark up, we all immediately go for this digraph. Okay, ooh, but there's a consonant right next to that digraph. So we're going to underline just the consonant. So I have, my N making a sound by itself, but it's still connected to that digraph, which makes one sound. And yeah, okay, so I think we're ready to talk about our closed syllables. 
Let me erase this. Okay, so the rules for closed syllables. Let me bring this in. It has to have only one vowel. If it has two vowels, it doesn't count. The vowel is followed by one or more consonants. So usually you'll see one or two consonants after it. And the vowel sound is short. A nice short sound. Ah, ah, eh, ah, ah. Okay. So you can see a couple examples here. So I'm going to give you the word moth. Mm, ah. Okay. Go ahead and write that down on your piece of paper. Let's see if we match. Okay. Mm, what letter? M. Ah. Okay. So to mark that up, we're going to look at my digraph, right? Digraph first. Now we look, we look at my vowel. I'm gonna say ah like octopus. Mm, ah. So it does. So we're gonna put a brev over it. Okay, it looks like a U, don't make a U on top of it. It's more like a smiley face. Okay. So brev tells us that it's nice and short. Okay, let me look at my closed syllable poster again. It only has one vowel. Let's look. One vowel. It's followed by one or more consonants. Here's my vowel, and it's followed by two. It's more than one. And the vowel short sound is short. It says ah. So if it follows all three of those rules, you can underline or scoop. Okay, we're gonna scoop all those letters, and we're gonna put a C underneath it for closed. Okay, let's do another one. I'll give you an easier one. Let's do z, e, et. Look at my mouth, I'm like, mm, et. Okay, you write it and then I'll write it. What'd you write? If you wrote V-E-T, you're correct. Okay, well I don't have a diagraph, so I don't even mark that one up this time. We say, ooh, let's go straight to our vowel. Let's see, does it say, eh, like, ed? Elephant, or does it make another sound? Does it say E? Et. You're right, it's a nice short sound, so I'm gonna put a, right, I'm gonna put a breath over top of it. And let's go back and look at our poster. I have one vowel, it's followed by one consonant, and it makes a short sound, which we already marked. Is it a closed syllable? Okay, so we're gonna scoop it or underline it and put that for clothes. Good. Okay, we're going to do a couple more. Do it down this line you can see here. So we're going to do stump. Stump. Listen to all those sounds. Stump. Poster trying to escape over here. Okay, you should have S T U M P. See, let me look at my vowel. My vowel is it short? Does it say uh like up? Stump. It does. You're right, we are putting a brow over that. All right, so let me look at anything else. Oh, I have some, some consonants next to each other. What are they called again? Right, a blend. So we can have blend at the beginning and at the end of the words. So let's see. I have my S and T. How do I do that? How do I mark that again? All right, I put two. So they're making two separate sounds. Am I done? You're right, there is a blend at the end too. Now I'm done, right? No. Let's look. So I have one vowel. Is it short? Is my vowel followed by one or more consonants? It's a closed syllable, so we're gonna scoop it. Put the C underneath the scoop. Let's do another one. The word she. We all know how to spell this one. We've seen it like a bajillion times when we're reading, right? Write the word she on your paper for me. Oh, 
Oh, I heard some people say yes, a digress. There is one there. Okay. Okay. Let me look at my vowel. Is it short? Does it say eh, like ed? No, it doesn't. So when you're doing that worksheet, which is I think your, let's see, the fourth page, fifth page, fifth page on your unit one, and it says cross off any that are not going to be a closed syllable, this is one of the ones that you would cross off. Say, nope, and you don't even have to worry about it. Because on that, that page, you are circling your closed syllables and then writing them and marking them up on the bottom. Okay. So let's do a couple more. It. It. Super simple, easy, two sound words. I T. You're right. Okay. Don't have much to mark up here, but let's just go straight to our vowel. Is it short or long? You're right. It's short. So we put a breath. Okay. Well, I don't really have anything else to mark up if other than to check out if it's a closed syllable. So let's see. I have one vowel. It's short, and it's followed by a consonant. Even though it doesn't have one in the beginning, that wasn't part of the rules. Oops. The rules did not say it has to have a letter in front of it. So keep that in mind. So this is a closed syllable. We're going to do one more. Boat. Some of you might know how to spell this word if you were paying attention when we were talking about those vowel teams. Of course, there are a lot of different vowel, um, vowel teams and vowel sounds, ways to spell it, where we have that O sound. Let's see if you can do this one. So we're using O, A, boat, O. B, O, A, T. Well, you're telling me to stop, and I'm not sure why you're yelling stop at me. Can you tell me why? You're right, because there's two vowels. So right there, I know, when I'm, I'm doing my worksheet and I see something with two vowels on our closed syllable worksheet, I don't have to go any further. I already know that that's not a closed syllable. So if you need any more help with this, please feel free to call out to myself or Miss Bonner, Miss Grayson, Miss Thomas, Miss Knighty, or Miss Sellers, and we will help you out. Have a good one, guys.